Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great day today and welcome back to my little cakes. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this super delicious Japanese cotton cheesecake. Well, let's get into it. These are the ingredients you're going to need to make the cheesecake. I'll leave them in the description box below so that you can check them out later. First, preheat the oven at 356 degrees Fahrenheit. And take out a large pan, it could be glass or aluminum. This should be a big enough for your cake pan to fit inside. Add the water halfway up. And place it into the oven while you prepare the cake mix. Now add the cream cheese onto a bowl and mix it at a medium speed using your mixer. Then add the butter at room temperature and mix it. Now the cream cheese and mix it. And you're going to separate the egg whites. Add the egg whites on a large clean and dry bowl and the egg yolks into a smaller bowl. And separate them on another bowl so that not even a speck of egg yolks ends up being on the egg whites. Because even if just a little bit of egg yolk ends up being on the egg whites, your cake won't poof up like it should. That's why sometimes you may ask yourself, why don't my egg whites whip? Well, the egg yolk could be one of those reasons. Now add the egg yolks that you set aside, the vanilla, the flour passing it through a strainer, to the bowl with the cream cheese mixture, and mix it for a few seconds. Now get your bowl with the egg whites and start mixing it at a high speed using your mixer with a very clean and dry mixer beater. And once you see that your egg whites are starting to get fluffy and full of air but not done yet, you probably mix them for about one minute, start adding the sugar a little bit at a time. And keep on mixing it for about 2 more minutes. So that means that you will mix everything for a total of 3 minutes. Until you end up with something like this. Super fluffy, firm, and shiny. Afterwards, you're going to add the egg whites to the other mixture to move with a delicate circular movement. Now, cut out a circle of wax paper that should measure the same size as the pan that you're going to use. Mine measures about 7 inches long from its diameter. Then, get more wax paper out, fold it, and cut a strip of wax paper in half so that it fits around the cake pan. I left mine a little bit too high, so try to cut yours a little bit more. And get a little bit more of butter or cooking spray and paste the paper like this. And add a little bit more on the top. Add the mixture. And now it's time to bake this baby up. Now place it inside the tray in the oven. And bake it at 356 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes. And in the meantime, you can read a book, record a snap, do your homework, etc. Once that time has passed, you're going to decrease the temperature at 300 degrees Fahrenheit and bake it for about an hour. And meanwhile, I retouched my makeup because believe it or not, baking and looking good at the same time while recording is pretty difficult. Once that hour has passed, turn off the oven and leave it a little bit open for about 15 minutes. Now take it out and before turning off the oven, check to see that it looks gold or brown at the top. That's how you know that it's done. Now let it cool off. You can let it cool off completely at room temperature or in the freezer for about an hour or in the fridge for a little bit longer. And once it's totally cooled off, run a spatula all over the edges, take off the wax paper, turn it around, turn it around again, then give it a special finish by adding a little bit of powdered sugar, passing it through a strainer. And that's it! And how did the Japanese cotton cheesecake turn out? Super special! And now for the epic moment. Delicious! Really guys, I'm in awe with this. You won't believe how delicious it is until you actually taste it. Once again, thanks to everyone for watching my video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to get to know me better, follow me on my Facebook and Instagram. I'll leave the links in the description box below. Remember, my name is Grace and I'm here to make your life sweeter, one cake at a time. See you in my next video. Bye!